Okay, Xeno Vegeta at least wasn't in slot 7 this time. But yeah, crazy how Xeno Vegeta, even with that ridiculously high defense, still took like 500k from a super. <laughs> Actually wild. Hey Ningen, how do you farm stones? Uh, money. <laughs> I've already done everything in the game, so there is no way for me to farm stones apart from when they bring out new stuff, I guess. But... Yeah, sadly, there is no way to farm stones once you've uh, reached a certain point. Alright, so... Do this. Do this. Do this. I'm trying SSBK versus Cell. Yeah, I saw the screenshot that you tweeted. Uh, good luck with that. That is uh, pretty crazy. I just got so close to actually doing it with the Majin Vegeta team. I'm so annoyed. Man. If only we'd put Xeno Vegeta in slot one. Maybe we would have done it. But yeah, there are a lot of things I like more about Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta than the gods, but... I think in this event, and especially when it comes to like their leader skill... Like, in terms of building a team for this event... The gods are way better than the uh, Super Saiyan 4s. Like, it's not even close. Um, if I get no supers on this turn, will we not kill him? Or is he still going to die? Because I would much rather get in an extra stack with uh, Xeno Vegeta. Why is my most anticipated unit from Superhero? Um, yeah, obviously it is our boy. The main main boy. I can't wait for that. He single-handedly killed my best run. <laughs> yeah, three-year Easy Ego Gia is not exactly great, unfortunately. Well, I need to get Trunks floated off, because ideally I want Trunks and Xeno Vegeta on separate rotations. So, get him floated off. No super for you. And then, I guess just in case you are still alive, we'll get a super for you. There's, like, no way he lives this attack from Xeno Vegeta, though. Yeah, there we go. When do the banners drop? It's usually around the same time as usual. It's in the, early in the morning, in the UK anyway. Um, Alright, so no super for you. No super for you. And then basic super for you. So the stall, we are on that stall plan. <laughs> Hercule with the dodges, that's what we need. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, 25k, that's not too bad. Um, they got one more group attack they have to take, and then after they've supered, they take double digit damage. As long as they don't get supered at the end, obviously. Um, and then they'll be fine. But yeah, we're just stalling it out as much as possible. Yeah, Monkey better against Omega, because, well, I mean, obviously, right? Type advantage, counting super, because you can literally put him in that final slot against the super attack, and then you have a 50% chance that he's just going to, uh knock it away and it does nothing so um do this for you and then again i need to try and i need to not get super attacks with these guys it sucks if they get hit with the aoe's or the group attack or whatever you want to call it um but they do have that dodge chance which obviously comes in very handy because we know that both the vegetas are going to take nothing and then they take 45k that's not the worst Obviously, I would much rather they dodge. There we go. Um, that's much better. we got one more to come as well. So, how many dupes have you, did you pull during LR Super 17 during the anniversary? During the anniversary, I pulled like three copies of him, I think. I think I got one off the Part 2 banner, and I got two copies in my three guaranteed LRs from the 50 ticket summon thing. Um, which is annoying, because he was already rainbow. So I do have his TUR now with a dupe, I think. I think that was the way it worked out. But Alright, so again, continue to get defensive stacks for you. Don't get anything for you or for you. And then this is how we do it. 
Oh, look, Trunk's actually guarded. Hopefully, he will do that in the final phase. But. Rewards for difficult events are a joke. Uh, I mean, it depends, right? Because the red zone, I mean, the support memories are pretty damn powerful for use in other events. Uh, five stones for beating each stage does seem a bit of a disappointing reward. I mean, this event, you literally just get a bunch of film reels, a few stones, and then a title, which I don't even particularly like the title because it's so long. It doesn't even look good on your profile because the text is all squeezed up because each of the letters is so small. So the title that you get for beating this event, I personally don't even think is that worth it. But Here's what it is. Um, oh god, look at all these attacks in slot 1. How much is your defense now? 324k. Um, I'm just going to put him in slot 1. The thing is, with the group attacks, if group attacks are in slot 1, it starts to become way less important, like which unit is in slot 1. Because they're going to get hit anyway, right? If there's a, if there's an AoE attack in slot 1, everyone's getting hit regardless. So then it doesn't really matter who you put in slot 1 as much. <laughs> yeah, how's it going? Uh, is it David? Things are going okay. Uh, we're trying out challenge runs for Cell Max. Oh, look at that. Let's go. Dodging the super was very big there. Um, we're currently deliberately stalling. Um... To build up our defense with Xeno Vegeta. Did he just double super or no? Is that my imagination? Building up uh, our defense with Xeno Vegeta. Uh, no one else on the team stacks, right? Oh, well, Trunks stacks defense for nine turns on super attack effect. So we're obviously trying to consistently super with Trunks. And then basically anyone who doesn't get any stacks, I'm just not even super attacking with them pretty much. But we got to time it nicely. We got to time it right. So we beat the um, physical phase before we get the Dokon attack, which is going to be quite soon. So I probably am going to have to start stepping it up a little bit now. Let's actually get the six orbs for you, and then we'll actually get a super attack for you as well. That'll help significantly. Trunks is guarding again. Look at him. See, now that he's guarding at the beginning, watch him not guard when we get to the end. I have a horrible feeling that that is exactly what is going to happen. His attack is fully built up from guarding, though, which is good. Because he gets a little bit of an attack buff every time his guard is activated. So. 107. Perfect leader skill for cooler. 170 to transformation boost and movie bosses. 30% to extreme class. Yeah, that would be pretty awesome if they did a 200% lead where the 30% was super or extreme. Because that would be insane. Like, that team would be ridiculous. Transformation. All extreme transformation boost and movie bosses. So basically all of the best extreme units in the game. Like, pretty much. I guess the only ones that aren't on there is like the LRs and Masus and stuff. But like, man, that would be, that would be crazy. Alright, well we're not finishing him off this turn apparently. But all that means is another stack for Xeno Vegeta. So that's fine, I'll take that. So, uh, and we're not going to get the Dokon attack this turn. For sure. So I'm going to get a heal. And then... Six orbs and a more heal. And then we'll just grab those for you. So this should be pretty decent here. We should get the kill, right? Unless all of our unless both our imp boys here don't crit, then that's gonna be bad. But Xeno Vegeta is up to a three mil attack stat basically. No crit because of course he didn't. And then we get supered. How much does this do? We have stacked a lot. 117k. Okay, I need Margin Vegeta to crit, or I think we don't kill him this turn, which is going to be super annoying. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well. Oh, is AGL Zamasu on there? Well, that's alright then. Because, yeah, when he gets an easy A, he'd be really good. Introducing 200% type leads. Could you imagine if they started bringing out 200% mono leaders? That would be kind of cool. Especially if it wasn't super or extreme. Imagine if, like, say Goku was in, and then he just straight up has a leader skill, like, int types 200% or something. That'd be crazy. I would actually love that. But I can't see them doing that somehow. I need to not get same type orbs here, otherwise we get the Doku on attack. Ooh, that was close. Alright, well. This is going to be interesting now. Yeah, that would be way too OP, I think. But it would still be cool. Because, like, 
mono teams, you're still obviously quite restricted because it is only the units of that typing. But I think that would be sick. Now, I see, if I don't use the attack, if I don't use the um, final explosion, I don't need to heal this turn because you'll get this. You'll heal a ton from this. Yeah, and now I'm on full health, basically. So. All right, well, here we go. Now we're at the real part of the event. Ten minutes later with the... Uh, Stalling strategy having been played out to full effect. Uh. <laughs> Alright, nice damage. Alright, there's the super. So we supered first. We got our six orbs. We got support. 224k. Now, the problem is, because he supered that early, that means he can super again. So, we really need the int uh, Goku and Vegeta at the end here to put in some serious work with the dodging. The problem, of course, I didn't really want to float them off either, because they we're kind of relying on them to get another, uh, another heal. Look at that double dodge. Let's go. All right. Margin Vegeta locked in slot three. Can I live with that? I feel like I can. Now, ideally, I want him to super attack in slot one. But what do I do here? You don't share any extra links with you. They both just share fierce battle. I've never link leveled this Hercule, funnily enough. Um, Saiyan Pride. Saiyan Pride give you any defense? We're going to have it active regardless because they're going to be next to each other. No, 20% attack. Um, he's supering slot one, trust. <laughs> All right, well, that's why we're going to keep Hercule there anyway. I just like... It feels like such a waste to use the Sensu Bean on a turn where we're on full health. So, I really don't want to. So, I'm not going to. And if we die, we die, as they say. Wow, I did that wrong. Well, never mind. Whee! There you go. Whoever called it, there was the super in slot one. Now, that does mean he can super again. So... Ooh, 36k from the normals after only the 12 key super. That's unfortunate. Also, we didn't uh, super with Marshall Vegeta. Ooh, so yeah, 77k. Yikes. Is there a slot? Ooh, there's a slot where I can hide trunks. And we have the Icarus active. Okay. Still no, we got no 6 orb slot for Marshall Vegeta though. Wow, Xeno Vegeta has 600k defense. Do I do this? 600k defense. Because we can't get six orbs for Margin Vegeta anyway. So, I kind of feel like I have to do this, right? Because Margin Vegeta, we can't get his six orbs. So if he gets super attacked in slot one, I'm just, I'm so dead. So I feel like this is the move. The only problem is, is do I use a Sensu Bean? I have both of them left. So how much does this heal me? I'm, I'm locking into doing this. So we'll do this. That's a decent heal. And then is there any way I can get six orbs? That'll be five. If I'm not getting six, I need to at least get three. So yeah, I think what we have to do here then, I think what I'll do is I think I will active skill and then heal. I think I kind of have to, right? I want to be on as much HP as possible. So I'm going to active skill and then heal. I'm going to get a drink while he does the final explosion.
Right. So, then we heal. And then, yeah, we can get five orbs at least. So he gets the defensive buff, and at least he gets to super attack first. Well, we didn't dodge. 540, Jesus. Well. Now, if Marjin's Vegeta in the end can live, uh, we do get um, the Vegito fusion next turn. But because we didn't get six orbs, I don't actually know how much damage he's going to take. Maybe if he double supers, we would be fine. But I'm actually not too sure what's going to happen here. Because the friend Marjin Vegeta is only 55%, I think. Oh, yes, he takes double digits. Okay. Oh, we're hanging in there slowly but surely, somehow. Clawing away. We got the revival as well. Ooh. Ooh. So I think what we do here is I think we take the risk and put Vegito in slot one. Because we could potentially get off a ton of counters. And we've got the safety net of the revival. So we actually are looking really, really good here, I think. Because if he doesn't kill... I mean, and if he doesn't kill us this turn, it's not the end of the world, right? I'd rather not die than die. So let's see what happens here. This could actually be really, really good for us here. Oh, well, never mind. I was going to say, the only thing that will suck is if he supers in slot one. Because ideally, I want to do some damage before we die. Although, actually, this is not looking too bad now. Because I think... Does he still kill Vegeta? Because Vegeta loses all of his defense when you have the revive active. But he is going to raise defense on super. So I'm actually not sure if he will kill him. I don't think he will. I actually, I actually, unironically, I think we take double digit damage. 7.85. It's pretty good. But we still have a Sensu Bean as well. So we are, uh, oh, 140k. Okay. Well, I'll take that, I guess. <laughs> we got the damage off first. That's the most important thing. That's a turn where the revival actually came in clutch. Because if you just die in slot one and revive, you didn't do anything that turn. Whereas we got a super off with Vegito, we got a bunch of counters, and then we got an almost 8 million attack super off with Vegeta, and then we got the revival. So we are, we are cooking with gas now, boys. Yeah, so much damage. Crazy. All right. Oh, and there's a slot where we can hide trunks. So, yeah, I feel like we have to... We just... Oh, yeah, okay. So... No! Oh, I pressed auto battle by accident. Oh. Okay, well, it's using the active skill, which I was going to do anyway. So, oh. Man, I tell you, I, the number of times... You guys on stream have seen me do it before. The number of times I've gone to press the item button and press the auto battle... Like, having them next to each other like that, I feel like is very bad design. <laughs> so, no, turn it off, turn it off. Right, okay, so. Senzu Bean. Move you to there, so you're not getting killed. You don't get six orbs, though, which is bad, which means you could potentially die to a super in slot one. But, I can't really do much about that. Um, is what it is. So, I need to... There's no point in getting any same type orbs, because it's not like I'm going to get a Dokkan attack again anytime soon. So... Alright. Oh, don't... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. I was going to say, if he supers me in slot 1, I think I just die. Not being able to get 6 orbs is so bad. 413k. I think we still live, though, actually. As long as he doesn't super again at the end. If he supers Xeno Vegeta at the end, I think we die. But... We might... Can we kill him this turn? Oh, I needed that to be an additional super, really. Oh, my God. This is... We are so close. I wish I didn't have to use the Sensu Bean last turn. Because we are getting so close. Don't super again. <laughs> Don't double super. Don't double super, Cell. So. Okay. Uh... Alright, Goku's locked at the back. Oh my god, this is so, like, my heart is pounding. So if I do this... 
Ugh, just don't super me in slot one, and then I think we are actually good. But if he supers me in slot one, it is literally just GG. Alright, here we go. No! Oh, he dodged! He dodged! Is this it? Oh, that's not a lot of damage, though. <laughs> Is this it? Can Vegito bring it home? Crit counter. Yes! And Goku kills him! 8.3 million and Goku kills him! Yes! We did it! Oh my god! Yes! We did it! With the Margin Vegeta team on Global, we have beaten Cell Max. Oh my god. 55% by the way, uh, friend and my Margin Vegeta, both the Margin Vegetas are 55%. And we beat Cell Max. 55% Margin Vegetas. And we beat Cell Max. Oh my god, my heart. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. That was actually crazy. That clutch dodge by Margin Vegeta. Level 5 dodge on the Margin Vegeta. Came in clutch and we beat Cell Max with AGL Super Saiyan 3 trunks on the team as the trunks as well. So yeah, there you go. Oh boy, that was crazy. Double Margin Vegeta leads, both 55%. On global, god that was actually crazy. So yeah, Minato said he hasn't seen anyone do it on global with double Margin Vegeta. And we did it with double 55%, so there you go.